In this video, we're exploring empty events, a feature I didn't quite understand until recently. In fact, I used to liken that feature to Windows 95's briefcase. Remember this thing? I mean, who used it? So, this gentleman is speaking in front of a camera, and I would like to insert a lower third here, but also carry on with the project. Uh, lower thirds and all these graphics are really just last stage implementations. But let's say I wanted to keep some kind of a reference point aside from markers, let's say something like a template. Well, this is where empty events could potentially come into play. If I go ahead and highlight the region here and right click and then insert empty event, uh, as the name suggests, this is relatively empty. There is nothing that you can pen and crop in. There is virtually nothing to edit here. This is an empty event. But how do we make use of this? Well, a couple of things. Uh, you could, of course, load it with uh, effects, although I sincerely doubt that this would be the primary usage for empty events, maybe as an adjustment layer, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure what you would use this for. But you, to, in order to do something such as fill this event with the lower third right here, which has an alpha channel, first I'm going to get the alpha channel out of the way. I'm going to right click and properties and hit straight unmatted. And that removes the alpha channel background, or the, or the black background at least. And then if I were to right click and drag it across and then add as takes, it fills the empty event. Now I can see this as something that you would use to build a template with uh, with Vegas Pro, at least in uh, Vegas projects. And while you can't necessarily rename empty events, you can in fact rename the track where the empty event is involved. In this particular scenario, uh, I imagine adding a screen bug. So I went ahead and made an empty event and just renamed the track as Screen Bug. And then afterwards, uh, I went ahead and just grouped the tracks all together. And this way I can proceed with editing and just come back to this as a reference point. 